Sarah Karamas for the Corona Bali Protected, presented by Hurley, Italo, Ferreira, and Jordy Smith fighting for a spot in the final. Ferreira getting things started quickly. Ooh. Backside hack on the roof, incomplete. Handing Jordy priority. Joe Tupel, Martin Potter in the booth for the call. Here's Jordy, looks like he's got a fun looking wall stretching out. First turn, nice and clean snap. Layback, power car for Smith. Right into a vertical hack. Carving his way through this inside corner. Winding up for another wrapping cutback with that tail slide finish. Italo falling, Jordy making him pay for it on the opening exchange. Wave number one in the semifinals comes unstuck. Jordy Smith, as you said, makes Italo pay dearly. Watch this turn here. That's what we've been seeing from the big South African. And I'll uh, tell you what, for a big guy, he is so nimble on his feet, so light, so fast, and uh, yet so powerful. So incredible start there for Jordy Smith. He's going to lock in a great score. Jordy watching him take long strokes back out to the outside. He looks settled. He looks, you know, at peace. And let's see if Italo can rectify those wrongs on this ride. Send it back to you, Joe. Ferreira, first turn, big whip in the pocket, driving hard. Drills it vertically for the third time in transition. Fourth one, more of a carving hack in the pocket. Now belting that same move a few more times. Sells a little wave left and snaps it shut. Ferreira tries to get himself back into this heat. Connecting with that first turn, that's better from Italo. Nice and vertical again, he snaps the board in the pocket. Italo Ferreira, look how light, look how fast, look how dynamic he is on wave number two, Joe. Turns around to see Smith throwing water to the sky. Rock and roll float, there's that layback, drawn out down car. What a battle we have on hand, Ferreira trying to throw one up again for the Goofy Foots, winning the event at Bells on his backhand. Looking sharp in a tighter transition at this high performance wave at Karama. Back after a wipeout on wave number one, but right behind him, the big South African, Jordy Smith, wasting no time at unleashing the beast. And again, beautiful transition between maneuvers, nice and clean, mistake-free surfing. Mixing it up, showing the judges that variety, that speed, power, and flow. In the final, after five years waiting to go one step further to take a win out here at Karamas. Meanwhile, Italo up, backside, tail high, whip, almost pulling it off in the flats. Starting to freestyle a bit, didn't have priority. Opportunity approaching, Jordy holds his position. Italo is going to make a move here. Has some speed, big wind up, another tail high whip, stops it perfectly, belting it off the coping, jamming another big vertical oh and a gosh. salute to the crowd. I don't think he could have landed a maneuver any better than what Italo just did, greasing that backside rotation, asking for a 10. What a showman. Jordy still with priority, Italo is on the loose, which is a scary moment for Jordy, knowing that he just threw down a 10, he's going to let him run again. Ferreira freestyling through this inside track with nothing to lose here. Speed jam off the lip, belting it off the top again and drills it shut. What a feeling for Itzalo with an outside shot of taking the Jeep leader's jersey if he wins this event. So still a couple of heats to go, still 18 minutes in the matchup with Jordy. Time remaining. Italo surfing incredibly well at the moment, just freestyling under the priority of Jordy Smith. Bang, beautiful turn off the bottom again, nice and tight in the pocket, and just three quick maneuvers in succession. And Italo Ferreira just on fire here in semi final number two. Special edition with Sage Erickson winning. Jordy's usually a part of him as well, but he's up now using priority. Big layback carve, but only good for one maneuver. Remember, Smith held priority for a while, let Italo go on the 10-point ride, chasing a 9-1-4, and he's still going to need that massive number. Happen here. Yeah, I think just a, a misfire for Jordy Smith. I mean, beautiful maneuver, but that wave wasn't going to offer him a 9.14. He's got to be a little bit more patient. He can't play into the hands of Italo Ferreira, which he's kind of doing at the moment. I control this man. Here we go again. Italo not sitting for too long, speeding down the line, a big rooftop Ooh. low, but buckles off the top. Oh my gosh. An awkward fall for Ferreira. Put a lot into that backhand float, came down with some speed, and he just shakes that thing off. When you surf the way these guys do, crazy things can happen. Italo freestyling again under Jordy's watch, anticipating another big whip. There's that big full rotation this time. 
He gets gobbled up on the inside corner. That rotation is brilliant to watch. He's got one of the best versions of that backside air reverse in the world. Calmly approaching his opportunity here, deep with his positioning. One big drive, the second one puts him behind the curtain. Gets the completion. Drawn out, roundhouse cutback with a solid rebound. More room, big front side whip. End section, jams it shut. Smith holding his composure, not letting the crowd tell him which wave to select. And he's going for a 9-1-4 for a lead change. You know, did he slow himself down because you don't want to do that? No, he didn't. He's pumping all the way through it, super deep, and he comes out nice and clean. Kind of got caught a little bit through it, but it didn't really hurt him into that big wrap. So Jordy Smith looking for a comeback wave, needing a 9.14, finishing strong. Big South African answers back to Isolo Ferreira with just over 10 minutes remaining. Let's have a look. You see him pumping, driving through that section. That's what the judges want. They want those deep driving tube rides and then answers with a couple of nice turns through the inside. Combination maneuvers. That was a really one of the better ways we've seen so far this morning. Obviously, Italo with one of the best maneuvers we've seen this morning. Jordi on one of the better waves we've seen this morning. Is that wave enough of a hero to be a 9.14, Joe? We watch that finish of the inside pots. Jordi's so comfortable under pressure, even smiling on his way out the back. He's got a great place in the heat because Isolo is going to surf out of his skin. Let's take a look here at our man Jordi Smith. Jordi going for the big tail high reverse through the inside, but he's incomplete. See the momentum they built from that camaraderie and their attention taking out all the different teams globally at that special event. Six on the clock here. Jordy without priorities, locking in. Glassy conditions deep on this bowl. A little too deep to score the barrel there. Tell you what, well, she's surfing good enough to win it, Joe, that's for sure. And Tyler Wright kind of looking for that next gear. Jordy now freestyling. Remember, needs an 8 2 1. Here comes the wind up, massive value oh, attempt. The crowd's always going to love that. Tough one for Jordy, though, because he's running out of time. Italo keeping a close eye on Smith. Is he going to take this opportunity away? Yes, he does. Italo now is trying to turn this one into a big score. Wind up, flat spin on the rotation. Picks himself back up. Just to get a completion. Everyone letting him hear the support from Brazil. That are attending here on the beach. We're down to a minute 15 on the clock. Jordy Smith calmly paddles into his last chance to make the final. Right into the pit. It's not going to let him out. 20 seconds. Itzalo will take the rest of this wave through the inside corner. Ferrer feeling that he's got the smaller inside corner. Jordy will put everything into a final move here. Going for another crazy spin. Incomplete. Tilo Ferreira into the final here at the Corona Bali protected presented by Hurley with now a shot to take the Jeep leader's jersey if he can go on to win. Itala will be taking on Michelle Perez in a 40 minute clash scored on their top two. You could probably say the two most informed surfers clashing for the title today. Yeah, absolutely right. And the thing about Eli Ferrer too, he's starting to peak at the right time, Joe. We haven't seen too many crazy above the lip stuff from him. He's just stuck to the face of the wave, utilizing that backhand attack. And now we're starting to see him starting to light this lineup up and get that crowd involved. What a final it's going to be. What a turning point for Italo, giving us a perfect number as he's in the final with Michelle Perez.